everyone, be the amazing Greek here. Today I'm going to do a, I guess called a demo test video. Uh, I've seen uh, a couple of videos on, I think it's called the Swedish Torch, where you take a log, cut it into four, uh, work one of the corners in here, and make a fire from the inside, and it burns like that. Uh, the one thing I saw in all the videos that people use, these logs were saw off like with a saw and I wanted to do it where if I only had my knife and kit could I do one like that and the answer is yes in mine because I have a wire saw so I can cut this where it'll stay semi flat when I go to set the pieces up if you couldn't get it flat where it'll stand up pile rocks around it I don't see why you couldn't dig a pit in the dirt and then you know build a wall around so my intention was uh, do it with just the minimal little knife kit you got with you, so that's what I'm going to do. I've got my uh, tinder and all that stuff here. I've got my uh, fire starters in my pouch, and I'll get those out, so I'm going to go ahead and start splitting that. Uh, this test, we're using the MTech MT151 awesome knife. Uh, one of my favorites, and that's what we're going to use. So let me readjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing and uh, I'll get started. Alright, so you can see me split the log and then I'll get it started. Now, it rained the last couple days, that's why I'm not just doing it out in the mud out here. log split like that jelly on it. That's what I'm going to use to light with my uh, my steel match or ferrous sight ferrous rod. I don't think that's the right one. Alright, so let's put some stuff in here to hold. I'm going to use the thicker sticks as a base so that I can set my lint balls on. I've never done this before, so... couple of rocks from nature. Fluff this up so it can catch a spark. And then the petroleum jelly on the outside of it, uh, which helps it, if it's watered up to stay a little bit waterproof, it'll uh, it'll act as the, the wax like on a candle, help it burn longer and hotter than just the, the lint ball itself. Now all the all the tender and stuff I did, I processed with my knife. I went, like I said, I wanted to see if I could do it just like if you're out in the woods. Of 
course, just trying to catch fire off the heat of a lint ball. I'm using the thinnest, smallest shavings I can to get started. All right. Got this at Shadow Warriors. Let's see what we got here. All right. Let's see if we can get one. Make sure you guys can see everything. No. The nice thing about this is if the wind's blowing this way and uh, blowing flames that way, hell, you just come from another side. You got four different places to feed from.
looks like you can mess with it in and out to get the uh, adjust the flame the wind to it and stuff Eventually, yeah. I guess it depends on the wetness of your wood and everything and how really dry it is. How long it will take for the inside of one of these, their main log to catch. I've lost the fire. That would be due to me not having enough small materials to keep it going once it got going. I'm just trying to feed it as I'm going. That's that's not the right way. there for a minute so lesson here on this I didn't have enough of the small stuff to just keep feeding it keep it going real good uh, I couldn't get 
I didn't have enough of the small ones to get the thicker ones going, so that was my fault. I didn't have enough prep work done. But you saw that we could get it going. If I'd have had more of the thinner stuff, uh, more fluffy stuff, it would have done better. We did have it. I didn't have enough to feed it, so that's our first time doing it. We learned. No big deal. And uh, we'll try again another time and see if we can't do better. I'll have more stuff prepared for it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. I know I did.